I'm Cliff, and this is my garage. Today, we're going to talk about how you remove the Cayman's rear bumper. Hey, welcome back to the garage. And if this is your first time joining me, thanks for dropping by. So you want to remove the rear bumper off the Cayman, or as it's actually the bumper cover, or as Porsche refers to it, the rear apron. Regardless, uh, there's I've seen people talk about how, oh, well, you know, the front bumper is not bad to remove, but the rear bumper is a pain. And I really don't understand that because if anything, the rear bumper is actually easier. I've done a couple of things in preparation for the shop. One, as you can see, I've removed the tail lights, which is a very easy thing to do. If you need to know how, I'll give you a link up in that corner over there to the video I did, oh, a year or two ago on removing the Cayman's tail lights. Another thing I've done is to remove the rear spoiler or, or wing. Uh, aerodynamically speaking, when it's down, it's a spoiler. When it's up, it's a wing. Again, removing the rear wing is a very, very easy job. And I just did a video on how to remove the rear wing. I'll give you a link up in that same corner over there. Actually, removing the bumper cover is a very straightforward job. We have to remove 10 screws, two bolts, uh, release a couple of wire connectors, and pull. Now, Porsche says that this is a two-person job, and it certainly is easier with two people, but you can definitely do it with one person. I've done it, just me. We're gonna start here in the tail light area. Oh, well, let me go ahead and throw in my usual pitch for Pug brand work gloves. Best work gloves I've ever used, hands down. Um, I'll give you a link in the video description below. There are two screws in this area. One is right here, and the other is kind of tucked up here underneath this part of the bumper cover. All the screws and bolts holding on the bumper cover are T25 Torx. Start with this one here. Oh, and let me grab my magnetic tray, keep things organized. And then we'll go reach in here and we'll, whoops, we'll get this one. Now this has an extra piece in it. You can see it right here is a silver thing. You kind of lift it up and pull out. It's got a tab that hooks it in there. This acts as like a, a big washer that pulls and protects this soft plastic tab here. Next up is a pair of screws that are on the bottom of the rear quarter panel. There is a screw behind here that is absolutely impossible to show you with a video camera. Here's a photo of it. Basically, it's, it's right here at this seam at the edge of the fender or the fender well opening. And it's going that way through a couple of flanges. So the head is on this side. And it's a little tricky to get to it without removing the wheel, but you don't have to. You will, however, have to lift the car up so that you get some gap here because when it's on the ground, there's just not enough room to, well, it will make it really hard to get at that screw otherwise. Remove all those same screws on the other side of the car and then come up underneath here. Here's the tailpipe and the screws you need to remove are right here on either side of it. And actually, sorry, these are not screws. These are bolts. So, do be aware of that when you're putting this back together. These are not screws, these are self-tapping bolts. So now that all the fasteners are out, we're going to start by releasing one end of the bumper here. And the bumper cover comes around and it kind of hooks around the inner fender well. So we're going to kind of pull out and along here and work this loose okay and it pops loose now do note this little tab here it slides into this little metal clip that's on the defend the uh, tail light area that's what i always almost always mess up when i'm putting it back on i forget about that 
and then I'm wondering why it's not fitting, and it's because I've, I this has ended up sitting on top of it instead of in there the way it's supposed to be. All right, we got that in loose. Going to go repeat that on the other end. And this second side is much easier to do because, uh, well, it's not so tight because the first end's loose. And this slides back. Notice when you pull this open, there are a couple little, like, plastic pins and they fit into some corresponding holes here you know those help align it and make sure you get those in properly when you're putting this back on so now we're basically loose we need to carefully take this off and there's going to be two wire connectors there that are going to the tail light no, the, the uh, license plate lights up under here and we need to disconnect those they come apart the same way that uh, like the hot dog light connector and the front bumper comes apart and the way the main wiring harness at the, uh, the, when you're removing the front bumper comes apart, there's a little tab, you pull it and then it slides apart. And I'll show you more clearly once I get this apart. This is the part I think where it forces says it's a two person job. Be a little challenging finding that clip. It's on the bottom. There we go. Back bumper is off. So here are the little connectors that go to those tail. Uh, I keep wanting to call them tail lights the license plate lights they go on like this and so the tab you need, you need to get hold of is right there and it's on the bottom you just hook that with your fingernail and pull it and it releases the internal catch and then it'll slide off that was pretty simple wasn't it now before you go go down there smack that thumbs up button give me a like on the video let my youtube overlords know that you enjoyed this content while you're down there, if you're not one of my subscribers, go ahead and click that big red shiny subscribe button. And hop on over to Instagram, check out my new or my revived Instagram page. And I also have a Facebook uh, page, so check that out. I'll give you links to both of those in the video description down below. And finally, if you want to keep up to date with everything that's happening here on the channel, all the DIY stuff I've got going, the Cayman track car, maintenance tips, all that stuff, go click on that bell icon. That turns on notifications for this channel, and that way YouTube will let you know every time that I post something new from here in Cliff's Garage. I'll see you next time.